I know I'm late, guys. I apologize. I am late to uploading this podcast episode. I do apologize. Um, I have no excuse. I could have easily done it, and I chose not to. But uh, I'm here today. I'm here a few days late. And initially, like, I had a topic that I wanted to talk about. But now I'm just like, uh, I'm not so sure, but I'll still talk about it anyway. So the topic in which I wanted to talk about is the Christian community that I've been feeling compelled to create. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's like, so where we're, I'm a bit confused with it, let me not say I don't think I'm not going to do it at all. Where I'm confused with it is, should it just be Christian in general? Should it be Christian content creators? Should it be Christian entrepreneurs? Like, different things like that. That's where I'm a little questionable or questioning it. Um, I honestly, I don't know what to say or or what, but that's where I'm at. Um, I have created the Facebook group. So if you're watching this or you're listening to this, um, hit the link in the description. I'll drop the link in the description for the Facebook group. Um, enjoy. Honestly, right now it's only me. Um, I've reached out to like 10, maybe 15 different people that I personally watch and enjoy their content and haven't heard anything back. But at the same time, right the way Instagram is now, it's like everything goes to the request folder everything goes to the request folder so if they don't look in the request they'll never see the message um which is what sucks with instagram because it's like it is a social platform so if i'm trying to speak to someone new make a new friend and my message is going to request folder then what's the likelihood of me actually getting to know this person just putting that out there. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at with that. But at the same time, like, I guess I'm probably just still all over the place. Like, I got a lot of clarity throughout my fast, which I am grateful for. Like, it's weird because I feel like God is just telling me all these different things that I will be doing within my life. And what I'm learning, starting to recognize is just because it's telling you these things, that doesn't mean that's right now. And low-key, I feel like that's what it is when it comes to this particular community. Just because I have to find my way in order to attract these people to me. If that makes sense. Because me just reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. that ha- Honestly, that has not worked in the past. Yes, God is on my side when it comes to it this time around. But does that really mean the way that I'm doing it is going to achieve success? Is my ultimate question. Just reaching out, reaching out, reaching out to people. Is that ultimately going to achieve success? Or do I work on my content? To put my content in front of more and more eyes. And maybe it comes in front of them. And they want to get to know me. Or be friends with me. Now when it comes to that. So yeah, God's been giving me clarity. So I just want to say. That the direction of my channel. Will be changing. Next month. I'm not letting myself wait any longer. It's changing next month. Um, so that is March. So my content in March will be different than what it currently is. And that's a good thing. Because when I look at my channel now, yes, I see my journey. And I like that for me. But it doesn't fit the direction that I'm moving in. And I say that because, like, honestly, I think I've said it. Like, I don't know what I'm really going to get out of this. I don't know what unforgettable is. I don't know how to create better content 
with what I ultimately want to do, which is to help other people. And I feel like it's not from the gangster videos that I've created because all the videos I've created, I've seen growth as I watch them now. All I see is growth. Like, man, you have grown. So cute. And that's what I think. It's like, wow, look how things have truly changed for you type thing. So with that being said, I may actually make them all invisible on this channel and upload them to a second channel, which I started to create more about me. So that way I can keep unforgettable as unknown to unforgettable as like a brand page type thing. And when I say that, I mean, it's not going to be just me anymore. <laughs> That's the easiest way for me to put it. It won't be just me anymore. So therefore, like, all oh, my personal type videos, I think I will keep up until I started being, like, truly consistent. Because this, I've been, every single week I put out a video since, I want to say October. I believe it's October. So whenever I started being extremely consistent, that's when the videos will stay from. Um, and I believe that was just, like, last year. And everything else, I will just re-upload to the other channel. Um, so they'll still be on YouTube, so to say. And the reason for that, because the other channel is more, is going to be more of a vlog channel. So it's vlogs and my personal development. So that's where I think that's a little more fitting. Because when you look, when I look into like how to be a better YouTuber or to create a successful channel... Not necessarily very specific, but you can be all over the place, which is what my channel is now. And that is why I understand that I have not seen success. And I am okay with that because at the end of the day, throughout, because I started YouTube in 2021, over the past three years, I have grown as a person. I have grown physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and that is... That is great, and uh, I'm I'm grateful for that. I'm not upset about that at all. But now that I have a newfound purpose, I think my purpose has always been the same as to help others. Um, now I have a little more clear view of how I can start doing that and making more of an impact on the world. And that's why I want the unknown to unforgettable to be literally just my journey leading up to that my consistency leading up to that and that's what it will be yeah i'm, I'm excited because i'm really looking forward to what is to come so with the rebranding so to say Oh, what was I going to say? With the rebranding, so to say, things are going to change, but they're changing in a good way. So it's not like, oh, I'm changing. I'm not, I'm not going to still be in the video. No, I'm going to still be in the videos, but I'm going to be doing good for other people. And that would be the way my channel moves forward. And ultimately to create a charity so that I can help people on a larger scale. But right now, it's all self-funded. So don't expect like some big trip somewhere or anything. Oh man, well, I just said that. But like, yeah, it's just like helping people in the community, having conversations with people, different things like that. That's, I feel like that is what God is pushing me to. And something else that I actually was researching and watching. Um, I was listening to a few podcasts from Think Media. So I think media, believe it or not, they are mostly Christian. I don't know if all of them are, but I know Omar is and Sean is. They're both Christians, um, but they don't they don't broadcast that in their um, in their content, right? However, if you ever meet them or anything like that. You just know there's something different about them, and that's and that is like, oh man, these like they're they're really nice. They're really genuine people. They're really nice, and then if you really get to know them, you know that they're Christian. 
And I've actually had the opportunity to meet Omar. And man, is a really cool dude. And I did not know he was actually a pastor as well. And I only learned that from actually meeting him. So I'm not saying I'm not going to talk about God. I'm just saying I'm not going to throw it in your face. Because I know, like, and this is another way. After listening to that, I took it as looking back to when I went away from Christ for a little bit, right? And anything that came up and I was talking about God, I weren't trying to listen to that. I weren't trying to entertain that. I wasn't trying to stay on that video or on that whatever it was for another two seconds, three seconds, right? So with that being said, I don't want people to just turn away just because I'm talking about God. And I'm not saying I'm not going to be talking about God. I am still going to be talking about him, but not like in your face. And that's where I would change. But at the same time, right? As Again, back to what I was saying about from that podcast. They were also saying God's light always shines through you no matter what you do. So as long as you are being more Christ-like, as it says in the Bible, to be more like Christ, people would know that you're a Christian or they will want to figure out why you have this aura or whatever around you. Like, what makes you so different? Like, why are you so nice? Why are you this? Why are you that? And that gets them asking questions and that gives us the ability to share about Christ. And I think that is going to be the way that I maybe moving forward with that when it comes to this particular channel um but my other one (laughs) it's me so you're gonna get me for who i really am um no if ands or buts so yeah that's yeah that's where i'm going with Unknown to unforgettable. And you know what? I have not shared that on here, right? So, because I had to, what was I doing? I was reading a book. Um, was it Secrets to the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Acker? I think that's the guy's name. And this particular chapter had just slapped me in my face, so to say. Um, and this is where my change in, not even change, but the, the clarity on what type of content I will be, will start creating came in. And one, and the main thing that the guy has said in the book is that he went up like, say in a, in a wealthy neighborhood and was, was he knocking on doors? I think he said he was knocking on doors and they would. And these wealthy people are generally nice people, right? Not all, but generally most are nice people. So I think I think it was along those lines, or I, don't know, I can't remember exactly. But in wealthy neighborhood, just being introduced to to new people, and the wealthy people, because you are what you're surrounded by, right? So if you surround yourself by wealthy people, you are likely to become wealthy. You surround yourself by poor people, you are likely to be poor and it's all about changing your surroundings so it's taking it into your own initiative and doing that and for me what sparked an interest for me was to actually do that and just go and have conversations with people and find out how they got to where they are um things along those lines and then I was like well if I'm doing it with the wealthy I could do it with the not so wealthy as well and when I do it with the not so wealthy I can say I can see how I can assist them do they need help around their house do they need someone to cut their grass do they need someone to wash their dishes do they need a ride to get to their appointments or to their job like different things like that like how can I help you is ultimately when I go knocking on doors that's what I'm gonna ask how can I help you and that opens a whole conversation with people and that's what I'm looking to do because after all of that, right, I just said this. Unknown moments 
to unforgettable memories. And that is still start on the finish unforgettable because that's where we started from, okay? Don't the OGs or whoever, well, it's not even gonna be here anymore. But <laughs> people who have seen my journey from the very beginning, it's always been start on the finish unforgettable. That's what my t shirts always say start on the finish unforgettable. And now it's become shorter to unknown to unforgettable. And it's still going to be, it's going to stay unknown to unforgettable. And the movement will be do something unforgettable or become unforgettable. Create an unforgettable memory with a stranger. Like different things like that because at the end of the day, that is something that they will tell their grandchildren about their great grandchildren. And that will go on within their family. That is is what unforgettable means to me because I now have clarity on what unforgettable means to me or what it looks like. And I've always said it has nothing to do with me. And now I'm realizing it has to do with the impact that we make on other people's lives, not just our own. So that being said, go do something nice for someone today. If you're if you're in line for coffee, pay for the person behind you. Or the two people behind you. Do something like that. Just do something nice that's going to put a smile on someone's face. And they will remember it. And that's where Unforgettable comes in. Like. <laughs> I'm just so grateful. Because my fast has really brought me this clarity. And that is what I've been asking for. And now that I have a direction. A proper vision. I know that I can achieve success on YouTube and I can make this a full-time income, a full-time job. Now that's going to take a lot of commitment and getting out of my comfort zone for sure. And that's what life is about because you will never achieve anything if you stay within your box. You have to step outside the box and in order to achieve greatness. And ultimately, like, I believe I've always said it. Like, I just want to help a lot of people. And with this newfound clarity, I know exactly how I can help people. No, the hard part is going to be <laughs> the finances to finance helping people when it comes to the financial things. Otherwise, just do something. It doesn't always have to be financial. That's where I say, like, go and see someone that they need help around their house. That just takes a little bit of your time, you know? So, yeah, that's what to expect in the near future from Unknown to Unforgettable, that channel. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of that stuff. Um, because, well, yeah, that that's the brand, right? And I I see God working through me in so many ways. When it comes to this. To the point that the other night. I had a dream. About being on the breakfast club. Like as a. Someone. Inter like them interviewing me. On the breakfast club. And I woke up from that dream. And all I could do was smile. Because. I never thought that far. If that makes sense. Like me. Like. Intentionally thinking of like. Where I'm going to be. Different things like that. I never saw myself as a guest on the Breakfast Club, but now that is something to work toward or look to get to by do by helping millions of people to the point to where as they want me on their show. Because in the dream, I did horrible in my interview, right? So let me tell you what the dream. So in the dream, I was there. It was like me and some other person. I can't remember. Like it wasn't specific. Of who the other person was that was in the studio. And they had like two people doing the interview. Like two people right? Interchanging. And I did horrible on my part. And the other person that was there did amazing. And then I think I must have left something in the room. So I went back. And so like I think before I went back in the room. Someone had came out. I was like yo they want you back. So I'm just like. 
but I did horrible. Like, why would they want me back? And then I also had left something in the room. So I went back in and I grabbed my whatever it is that I left. And I asked, like, someone told me that you want me back. Like, why do you want me back if I did such a horrible job? And it's like, what you're doing means more than what, <laughs> what you messed up on, you know? And we see your potential. We see that you're doing something great. So we want you back to have a proper interview type thing. And I laughed and I was like, whoa. I was like, I did absolutely horrible. Like, I botched this whole interview and you want me back? Like, what? And then I laughed and then I woke up. So, <laughs> and that is, like, honestly, that's that's some people's real dream. It's like, I want to be on The Breakfast Club. I want to blah, blah, blah. But I never would have thought that for myself. Maybe I need to start thinking bigger for my girls when it comes to unknown to unforgettable. Because at the end of the day, I want this movement to live on way past me. It's not going to it's not going to start and end with me and yeah. That is yeah, that's that's it. That is something to look forward to. Maybe um Throughout the next week, I can create a list of goals to set, to reach within Unknown to Unforgettable. And uh, yeah, just Unknown to Unforgettable because that's what it is, right? Um, I did mention like I want to create a charity and whatnot as well. And that is, that's going to take time. I can see that being up and running by the end of this year. I can, yeah, I can definitely see that up and running by the end of this year. So I guess I'm just speaking some things into existence right now. But I will come back with a full um, goals podcast for Unknown to Unforgettable and where I see it. Where I see it being and what I see it doing. Um, Yeah, that's something to look forward to. The new content starting next month at some point. Um, obviously I need to record it, find some dollars, and, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for it. And right now, it's really scary to, to use my money, right? And that's something else I was reading in this book. It was saying, um, uh, it's like the different mindsets, right? So... It's like how you grew up and how you are now compared to how you grew up. So for me, it's like I always grew up with being told, like, we don't have enough money for that. We can't afford this. We can't afford that. Oh, no, you can't do this. It costs too much, blah, blah, blah. Things like that, right? And I know I'm not the only person that grew up like that. And for me, I've always learned the art of saving living me like below my means and always having a buffer type thing so i say that like i don't have money i have money i just choose not to spend it i choose not to spend it and that's where i'm learning it's like nah you have to you have to give a little spend a little and in order for it to come back twofold or more and that is what this journey is about to teach me, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, I think um, I'm a I'm a dip into my savings to make this YouTube thing work. Wow, am I really just gonna give up everything and and throw it all into YouTube? And pray that I succeed. <laughs> that sounds wild to say. But that's the only way I could probably make it. Like, seriously, that's probably the only way I can make it. Which also sounds crazy to say. Usa. And I also know that 
It's just right now that I'm using my own money. I know that and I believe that I will succeed in this by helping others that people would want to give to help me help other people. I truly see that. People wanting to help me help other people. And I decided I'm going to start next week. <laughs> oh. I'm going to start helping other people for real next week. Cuz like I always do it here and there. Like don't don't think that I don't I don't give give my time, energy or money to to help others. I I truly do. I did it as a full-time job. Literally. So yeah. Oh, boy, boy. Yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Um, I think next week I'll come with a goal session. A goal slash vision session. And we can go from there. Um, I think, actually, I think that new type of content will probably come, like, end of March but you know what you'll see it when it comes out how about that I like that one you'll see it when it comes out um excuse the train in the background I am Sakudani and I am on a journey from unknown to unforgettable and I am going to take unknown moments and create them into unforgettable memories Well, that sounds really good saying that. I'm not trying to hype myself up. It's more of a, this is really what you're going to be doing. Taking the unknowns and turning them into unforgettable memories for others and for myself and for the world. Because it's all going to be documented. Mm -hmm. I'm Sakurini and I'm on a journey from unknown to unforgettable and I will be taking unknown moments and turning them into unforgettable memories peace